not everybody that deserves you. It's not everybody that deserves to be at the top where you are. And don't feel sad letting them go, letting them drown. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen to me, girl. You give us something to want you to know. Take it now. She's so sharp and so sure, girl. She just got some money ready to take it now. Give your love and friends to you. You're so beautiful and better than the friends. Easy now. She gorgeous and so good and young. When you look into her eyes, man, I tell you don't be fall asleep. Yo, make a little bit of fit over the love. Show now your friends will be friends. Boom, take it now. Make you know the full and all the words. Make the freaking love me right now. So, today we're going to be talking about breakups and how to get over breakups. You get what I'm saying? So, I'm going to personally relate this to me personally about one of the relationships that I have with one of the individuals and how I was able to take something negative and transform it into something positive. So, first, I want to start by telling you that breakup is nothing but energy. Especially if you're someone who's been having everything on track, right? You've been having your workouts good, you've been pushing yourself in the gym, you've been doing well. You barely get that info of energy. So when you have a breakup, I want you to take energy, take that, that drive, that pain, that, that, that emotion that you get from that breakup. And instead of it breaking you down, right? Instead of it making you sabotage yourself, because trust me, it's you that's sabotaging yourself. The breakup is not what will make you go off track. The breakup is not the thing that will make you drink. You choose to do that. Instead of you choosing to do what the person will want you to do, right? Take it as the person is a hater and the person doesn't want you to do well. So instead of doing what the person will want you to do, the person already expects you to fail. The person already thinks you're not good enough, right? Instead of you showing the person that you're not good enough, I want you to take that emotion like I did and put it into the gym, right? I'm gonna give you an example, right? When I first had this breakup with this individual, the whole world could feel me, right? My, my, my slogan was, I will not live, I will not die before I have lived, huh? That the whole world will feel me. I was, that was the one time, right? I felt unstoppable. You know what it's like to feel like a god? I felt like that. If I felt like I had one rap, I'd go for two. If I feel like I got, got two, I gotta go for four. If I feel like I got four, I'd go for eight. You get what I'm saying? I had to be unstoppable. I felt like I was, huh, you want me to feel, right? You wanna, oh, like you wanna actually mess me up? You wanna, oh, right? You wanna give me pain? Okay, you go feel me. I'm gonna give you pain instead. Take that emotion, take that pain, and put it back in the world. Let the world feel you. You get what I'm saying? So, when I first broke up with this individual, I had to go to the same school as this individual, right? So I got to see this individual move on, quick as hell. But what did I do? First, instead of hopping into a relationship, right? Like jump in, like I'm saying, so instead of hopping into a new relationship, instead of just jumping without healing, I took the time to understand who am I? Who am I without this individual? Because think about it, if you've been in a relationship with such a, with an individual for an extended period of time, that person becomes your, or you get used to that person being around you. So that's the best time to make the gym your best friend. You get what I'm saying? Instead of you using that negativity and passing on to your loved ones and pushing up, pushing away your pillar, your circle, your close people, 
Put it in the gym. Put that negativity in the gym. Use it to build you. Use it to make you a better individual. Huh? They broke up with you because you didn't have abs? Oh, we gonna get that. Huh? They broke up with you because you were not you were not wise enough? Oh, we gonna get that. Huh? They broke up with you because you think you didn't have enough sauce, you weren't self-aware, you weren't mature. Oh, we gonna get that. Believe in yourself. You get what I'm saying? When I first started this fitness journey, right? When I first started getting in shape, people were like, you will not do it. Like, I remember as a kid, right? When I was in high school, I told my teacher, Frank Eric Meyer, that I was gonna look like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I was gonna get in good shape like him. The whole class laughed at me. They laughed at me. They didn't know what was within me. They didn't know what was in me. You know, you're the only one who knows what within you. You get what I'm saying? You gotta show them. You've always been a boss. You've always been at the top. You was always destined for greatness. You just gotta show them. There's some late adopters. You've just been waiting for them to catch up. You get what I'm saying? You got that dog in you. So, like I was saying, I had to go to school with this same individual. I had to basically go to the same class, see this individual work, like move on. So when I see them, that that that's that feeling of rage, like it's not even actual, like that surge of energy would pour through my veins. I wanna work out. I wanna beat my chest like a gorilla. I wanna go crazy. I wanna push that workout, I wanna go out, I wanna do that weight. I wanna push, I wanna lift the car. They don't get it. Yeah, when I see that individual, instead of me feeling sad or sorry for myself, I will go crazy. I will be the best me. I will get that body. I will get, see, I was out wrap a car go with 30 miles per hour. Think about it like this, right? The world already want to see you fall, right? The world already want to see you not make or reach your potential. Will you be one of the people that's rooted against you? Huh? Will you be one of the people that would not want to see you be at the top? Will you be one of the people that think you don't deserve it? I see so many people talking down on yourself. Right? When I'm working out, I'm ultra focused. I don't care who's doing what. I want to get this workout. You get what I'm saying? I'm unstoppable. I got more. I can do more. I can do one more. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. You will actually, you're meant for greatness. You get what I'm saying? You're unstoppable. You're unstoppable. Think about it. I be thinking that I'm the, I'm the chosen one. Like, who should talk about I'm the chosen one? I'm the destined for greatness. I was going to be at the top. I was going to get to my goals. You can't stop me. I won't let you stop me. You get what I'm saying? Everybody, right, would like to see a hero fail, right? But you know what they like to see even better? The comeback. So what's your comeback going to be like? So people fail and they don't even look like they feel. They dust it off and come back stronger. Will you spend too much time at the bottom feeling sorry for yourself? Or will you rise to the challenge? I chose to rise to the challenge. You can do the same. You're unstoppable. You get what I'm saying? Don't say, I don't know how to. Never take power away from yourself. Because you have all it takes. You are growing up just right. You have more than what it takes. So I want you to wake up, right? Stop feeling for you, stop feeling sorry for yourself and go after your goals, right? You feel like you, you, you feel like you, you, you find that female attractive, go talk to her, huh? You feel like you can lift a thousand pounds, go do it. I'd rather you feel that not be, not, not even do anything at all. You're an action taker. Don't be an observer of life. Be proactive. Enjoy life. You know, it's a pleasure to be able to work out. It's a pleasure to be able to feel like a God, look better than everybody you see. Be in good shape. Be perspicacious. Be able to talk. Be able to listen. And not only listen.
person, you're listening behind the words. You get what I'm saying? You're able to work out. To work out. You're able to, you get to be able to work out. Huh? You get to see another day. You get to be able to run. It's because so many people don't even have the opportunity. You get to do this. You get to be, you get to have your dream physique. You get to earn your dream physique. It's another day. You wake up, you like, let's get it. You get what I'm saying? I want to be able to inspire you guys. Because in my time, the things that, that I told you about how I would walk two hours, 30 minutes to make it to the gym. In the middle of the freezing cold, I believed that I could do it. I could not be at the bottom too long. I could not stand, see myself get out of shape too long. Feel like that. You got this within you. You're unstoppable. Believe. But most of all, be yourself, be good to yourself, and be good to good people. Because it's not everybody that deserves you. It's not everybody that deserves to be at the top where you are. And don't feel sad letting them go, letting them drown. You get what I'm saying? If they're not gonna go up with you, don't let them pull you down. Not everyone deserves to be around you. Not everyone will motivate you. If they're not pulling you up, they're bringing you down. So don't let those, those extractors those pests be in your life. Cut them off. You have the strength to do it. It don't matter if that's, my, that's your friend, your father, your mother. It don't matter who it is. Cut them off. Keep distance away from them. Find out the strategy that works that makes you distance yourself away from them and do it. You deserve better. So, without any further ado, that'll be all for this. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, share, and send this to someone who needs this. Because I believe in you guys.